back to another episode of Demetra's Dishes. On this channel, I teach you how to make easy and delicious recipes that are perfect for sharing with your loved ones to help you create beautiful memories. Today, I'm going to teach you a recipe from my childhood, aguinares mekukya. That just translates to artichoke hearts with fava beans. Now, they're not easy to find unless you live in, in an area where there are a lot of Greek people or a lot of Arabs, because Arabs do cook with this too, thankfully. And the other day, I really I wanted to teach you how to make this for a very long time, but it's, it's not that easy to find, and I didn't realize that my local Middle Eastern grocery store had it. Yesterday I was in there and I was looking through the freezer section and I was so happy when I saw the fava beans there and I love it because they're already cooked, they're frozen, they're peeled and ready to use and the whole thing comes together in like 30 minutes so you cannot beat that. It's nutritious, it's vegan and it's so yummy. So if you have a Middle Eastern Mediterranean uh, food store nearby, drop by and pick some up. This recipe starts with onions and olive oil. I finely chopped an onion and then I added it to my pot with about a third of a cup of olive oil and I'm going to let it cook until it's nice and soft and golden. A third of a cup of olive oil might sound like a lot to you and you could definitely put less, but this is a Greek dish in the category of ladera, which means foods that are made with olive oil and they're usually heavier on the olive oil so you can definitely add less. Once they're soft and golden we're going to move on to next, the next step but in the meantime I'm going to thinly slice these scallions. I like to stop at the white part and save that for stocks for later. I'm going to set them aside. This is a very green dish you're going to see in the end. It's so delicious. Now I'm going to grate these three garlic cloves. This dish cooks fast so you just want to make sure that everything is ready. Set that aside. I have some fresh dill here. If you can't find fresh, feel free to use dried. And I'm just going to chop this up. I like to use my knife to kind of shave off the herb, the, the part that we need, the leaves. And I just pick out the thicker stems. Fresh dill smells so good, you guys. And I'm just going to finally chop that so that's ready. And if you don't like dill, you can leave it out. You can add some mint and some parsley instead. This recipe is so easy. Let's check on our onions. They need a few more minutes, so we're just gonna wait. And one more thing, you don't have, one more thing now that that noise is done. One more thing, you don't have to thaw out the, the artichoke hearts or the broad beans. You could just put them in frozen, that is fine. Just makes it so much easier. Just open the bag and throw them in there. If you're using fresh artichokes, if you're lucky enough to have them in your backyard or to buy them at an affordable price these days. They have been so expensive, so I was really happy to find these. If you're lucky enough to find fresh ones, then you're gonna have to pre-cook them first. So you can find, you can click on the card up above where I teach you how to make my artichoke uh, stew, and that shows you exactly how to clean and peel an artichoke. I'll make sure I'll post that up above. And if you have fresh uh, fava beans, you're gonna have to pre-cook those too. So you're gonna have to peel them and boil them until they're nice and tender and drain them and set them aside. If you can find the bags that are already cooked, you are going to be good to go. The onions are nice and golden. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic and just warm it through a few seconds. Just like 20 seconds should do the trick. Once you smell it, it's good to go. Now we're gonna add the green onions. And they've been washed and dried and all that good stuff. And I'm just gonna cook it over medium heat for about three minutes until they're nice and soft. Now we're gonna add the artichoke hearts and the beans. And just in case you're looking, this is not sponsored, but this is what the bag that I found looked like. Here's the fava bean bag, also not sponsored. It says double peeled fava beans. So if you find it, pick a few bags up. These are delicious. You could even turn them into a salad. Now, now we're gonna season. I'm gonna season simply with a little bit of salt some black pepper, and you know me, I'm gonna throw in a, a couple of crushed red pepper flakes in here. Mix it all up. And now I'm gonna add some water. You wanna fill it up until it barely reaches the top. At this point, we're gonna bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to low, to a medium low, and I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer until the artichokes are fork tender, the fava beans are gonna cook, and then I'm gonna go in and give it a taste and see if it needs more seasoning. And then the last and final step, we're gonna to get to it once we're there. So once you can pass your fork or a knife through an artichoke heart and it goes in and out easily and it's nice and tender, then you know it's ready. At this point, we're just gonna make a sauce, so it's just a thickening agent. So in my bowl over here, I have two teaspoons of cornstarch and I'm gonna add about a quarter cup or all of the juice of this lemon. You can make it as lemony as you like. 
You can put a little more lemon juice or less. It's all up to you. I'll switch to a little whisk. Just whisk it all together to dilute the cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch, you could use all-purpose flour too. I just like that cornstarch stays translucent. Now I'm just gonna take some of that liquid and mix it with the cornstarch, dilute it a little bit more. And I'm just gonna pour that in there. I'm also gonna add the finely chopped um, dill, the fresh dill that we have here. And I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. And I'm gonna let this cook for about three minutes or so or until the sauce thickens a little bit. If it needs a little bit more liquid, if you want a little bit more sauce to it, you could add some more water. Once it's done, we're gonna give it a taste and see if it needs more seasoning. And it thickens pretty quickly. Let's give it a taste. Let's get some of those beans too. Mmm. So good, but it does need a little bit more salt. The lemoniness of it is perfect. I'm gonna take it off of the heat now, and now it's time to serve it. So the food is ready to be served. Now my mom always drizzles some more olive oil on top of this, and we always serve it with some toasted bread and some extra lemon wedges on top or on the side, and that's it. That's all you need. This is an excellent dish to serve alongside lamb or any main dish, if, especially if you're serving something fancy for the holidays. This would be the perfect vegetable dish to put aside. aside. It's so easy to make, number one. It's very elegant because who doesn't like artichokes? And then fava beans too are absolutely delicious. And uh, it's also good as a main course to eat if you want to go vegetarian, like on a meatless Monday. It is time to dig in and take a bite. This is so delicious. The artichoke is perfectly tender and cooked. The perfect amount of lemoniness. I would definitely put some more olive oil and as soon as we're done, I am gonna put more olive oil in this. Always use extra virgin cold press to drizzle on top. You can find the recipe underneath the description box down below, all of the ingredients and measurements, which all the measurements and the ingredients and the instructions are under there. Make sure you make this and you let me know what you think. Also let me know what else you want me to learn how to teach you how to make also let me know what you would learn how to, I can't say this. Also let me know in the comment section what you want to learn how to make next. And if you want to learn how to make the artichoke a la polita stew, that's also very delicious. You want to click over here on this annotation. I'll see you right over there. Bye guys.